In this video, I want to talk to you about another navigation tool. It's probably the simplest of them. It's called the text menu. It's right here. A text menu is basically just that. It's a navigation menu that's made with pure text. It doesn't rely on any kind of images or anything like that. It's just pure text, but it's very configurable, and there's a lot of uses for it. In fact, I use the text menu quite a lot when I'm designing websites because it's a very simple plain kind of navigation. And a simple design is usually a better choice to make uh, when you are in design mode. Let me show you what the text menu looks like behind the scenes. You can see I've just put one out here on the uh, canvas. I'm going to double click on it to show you some of the settings. They should be pretty typical. You can change this from a horizontal to a vertical. And you can also change the spacing between the links by changing this number here. If I turned this into a vertical, I would have to stretch this so we could see it all. In most cases, I do use it as a horizontal menu, and so I'm going to change that back. Obviously, to edit the links, you would choose one, click Edit. Here you can decide what the link is going to say, what the text is going to say, and then where it links to is determined here. All of that should be pretty obvious. Let me show you a little bit more behind the scenes of something that's going to be probably more useful for you, and that's the Style tab. The Style tab is where you're going to decide the appearance of the link itself. And that's going to be, of course, the font family you want to choose. You're going to want to choose web safe fonts. That's why it's only showing web safe fonts here. Not every font in your system is going to show because this is actual text we're working with. It's not images. It's actual text. It's text that Google will even find when they crawl your website. So it's important to know that's another good reason to use a text navigation tool. You can set the background of it and the size. Also, you can center it here, either left, right, or center. If you want to use delimiters, you can see what those are by looking at what the menu looks like here. If you want little characters between or at the ends, beginning and ends of your links, you can do that here. You can just change these by putting whatever you want in here if you wanted it to look like this. And remember, I changed this to a back to a horizontal. So you can see I just put little characters in between there. You can do that if you want to. Again, I don't normally do that, and I'll show you what I normally do here in a second. If you do that, you can decide what color you want those to be. And if you want those characters to be included in the actual link, then you would click this. Click OK. And you can see that the characters are actually part of the link. There's another thing that's important to know, and that is if you want to use the hover state whenever you are on the page that corresponds to the link. In other words, if I click this box and I click OK, if this link was linked to the index page, then this link would look different when we're on the index page. If this link were linked to the About Us page, then this link would look different when we're on the About Us page. And that's kind of handy to do because it lets the user know that that's the page they're currently on. And that's simply done by selecting this miscellaneous box under the Style tab. Okay, I'm going through this kind of quickly because I want to show you one that's actually done and how I use the text menu most of the time. That gives you a quick rundown, but let me show you what I do. I'm going to actually delete this one. I often use text menus, and you can see I have one here at the top. And in fact, this text menu that I've already designed, I put inside a layer. I'm going to take it out so you can see. This is a layer, just a big black bar that I keep this text menu inside of. Because I designed it that way, I made sure that I designed the text to show well in this bar. So I used white font. So let me double click on this, and I'll show you the settings that I've made here. Here are the names of the items. This is what shows in the actual menu. And of course, you could edit those by going here. You can see what it says. And then the page that it links to will show here under the URL settings. So these are all the settings as far as linking goes. Of course, it's horizontal. I have mine spaced out 10 pixels. I have quite a busy menu. I don't want it to be too scrunched. If I left this at four, it would start to run together. And that's the default. I'll show you what I mean. So it really looks like it's harder. It looks like one big long sentence. And so by spacing that out, I find that that's going to work better and easier to read. It could even be more. It depends on how many items you have, but I would say the more items you have, probably the more spacing you want so that it's a little easier to read and that spreads them out a little better. Back under the Style tab now, you can see that I chose Arial. That's fine. I have a size of 9. It fits good in this space. The background of this is going to be black, and so I chose black. And also, I have the fonts aligning center. And in my case, I took out the delimiters. Remember, we could put characters in here. I actually emptied this. So I don't want delimiters 
I think it looks a little bit confusing to have too many characters, especially in this case where I have a really large menu. So I left that plain. And um, in this case, I'm not using the hover state, and that's fine. So let me show you what I did do, though. You'll notice that this is link style. What I did was I created a style for this. I want these links to look a certain way when the user clicks on them or hovers over them. And I did that by creating a link style. You can do that going to edit styles and it actually brings up the style manager, which you can bring up also by going up here to the menu and bring up the style manager. And I created a style called top menu because I'm using this style just for the navigation in the top menu. So I called it that so I could remember it. Let me click on edit so you can see what I did. Basically, I created a top menu style that does the following. Whenever a link is shown, it's going to be white font and a black background. And I did that here. I chose link, color of the font is white, no bold, no underline, no nothing, and a black background. No shadow, and just that simple. When I chose visited link, I kept it the same. The only one that I changed, and you can see down here in the preview, I kept them all the same. Visited, active, these are all the same. I just want it to look different when it hovers. And so, I went to hover and created a style for that. Here, I changed the color from white to gray, and I want it to underline when the user hovers. That's the only change that I made. Everything else stays the same. So with that created, I called it top menu, and I assigned that to my text link. I realize that I'm actually doing a video here also about the style manager, but in this case it really applies because you're gonna most often use the style manager when you're using the text menu. So I'm just gonna click OK and show you what this all means. When you F5 or preview this page, what's going to happen is gonna demonstrate my styles. So again, there's my white font on a black background, but notice when I hover over a link, I get that grade underline, and that's the effect that I wanted. And so as the user hovers over that, it behaves the way I want it to behave. Very simple to do, and a very common tool to use a 90 second website builder. I think you'll find that if you use the text menu, your users will find it easier to read, and depending on how big you want to make it, of course you can change the size of the font, you can make larger words, and larger characters, of course, and different backgrounds. But just using a simple style of navigation sometimes makes your website look cleaner and easier to use. And so that's how you use the text menu in 90 Second Website Builder.